This episode was cool. All right, I'll be taking my awards now. <laughs> anyway, hello everybody, Tyler on the God 3 here, and welcome to Pokemon X and Y Anime Reviews. Today we will be reviewing episode 83, and this episode is titled, Cross the Snow Mountains, Mama Swine and Obama Snow. This episode, literally what I said was, it was cool. I wasn't trying to make a pun either, that this time I'm legit. I mean, this episode was alright, it's... It's probably the most, out of all the filler episodes we've been seeing as of, well, not even just filler episodes, it's like episodes we've seen as of late, the, like, this one's the most filler-y. Like, like, it, this, this filler's got filler in its filler, with a side of filler. That's the best way I can describe this. It's the, it's literally just the, the probably, it's not winning any awards, that, that's what I'm saying, it's. It's one of the more blander Pokemon episodes. It's got some nice moments in it that I noticed. But other than that, this episode is really just, hey, we need to, we really need to fill up time. So, but I'm glad they put it here. And yeah, you know, we got to see our snow. We got to see our outfits with the uh, Ash and the others in their, their snow outfits and Bonnie with the Deli Bird costume for the win. So without further ado, let's break this down. So our heroes go in and rent out some mammoth swine, two of them to be exact, because Ash and Serena are going to be riding one, a more shipping fuel right there for the whole episode. And then Clement and Bonnie are going to be riding one. And when they ride out, it's clear that Ash and Serena have more control of their mammoth swine, which is why it's able to cross a lot of areas and stuff, while Clement's still, like, you know, he's scared, you know, same old Clement stuff. But what I do like is the fact that Serena actually took charge of Mamma Swan in order to get them to cross this one side of the mountain because she knows how to uh, to handle Mamma Swan well because of her Rhyhorn racing stuff. So it's good to see that even though she's not doing that goal anymore, obviously, she still can implement that goal as a relevant plot point at any like at any time. So that's really cool to know. She can still use those skills. I'm glad she didn't just completely discard them. Once she became a uh a Pokemon performer. So that's a nice moment. After that, Team Rocket makes it up there first. And Jesse's happy, but not for the snow like I thought they were going to do and be clever with it. Um, instead, they make her happy over the Gore Guy stuff, which happened an episode ago. I don't know why she's still tripping off of it. Anyway, um, after that point, they meet up with Obama Snow. They get blasted off, but they make plans to steal it later. Yada, yada, yada. So then uh, Ash and our heroes finally cross like this bridge. They see Obama Snow and Obama Snow attacks them. But Ash goes, wait, it's all a misunderstanding. It's a mother trying to defend her child. And da 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 da. So our heroes go in. And uh, they tell, they reassure Obama Snow that they're going to help the baby, the Snover. And the Snover's sick, so Clement says that they need to go gather ingredients. Now, I do like this. I like how Ash and the others decide to go into the cave area to get the first set of ingredients, while Clement and Bonnie go outside to get the second uh, part of the ingredients. And I really like this because Ash winds up using Noibat in the ice caves, which is probably the smartest move because, you know, Noibat caves. So that was really cool. Chessman digs to find one, but only ends up with a uh, Chesto Berry. And I gotta say, it's, I really like... One, I like that Chessman's got so much screen time. And two, I like the fact that they can use Chessman essentially as a Knuckles the Echidna dig for random items type feature. Like, like I wish there was a game. I wish in, like, the next Pokemon game there were two types of digs. One to get you out of caves, and the other to, like, a search dig. And that dig can get you, like, occasional rare items or something. That'd be cool. It's just, like, Chessman finding that Chestoberry got me thinking that. So eventually they wind up fighting, finding the items that they need, and then they grind them all together into this little medicine, and Snover drinks the medicine, but then uh, Team Rocket ends up attacking Obama Snow so that they can kidnap it. Then Serena and the others, uh, Ash and the others, end up fighting Team Rocket. Uh, the reason I mentioned Serena first is because her breaks in still no scratch. I don't know why the hell that's a thing. But breaks in no scratch, so it ends up using scratch to free Obama Snow from the net. And then once it's free of the net, 
Uh, Obama still works together with uh, Ash's Pikachu. They end up attacking Team Rocket, and they send Team Rocket off on their way. But we also get this nice moment while Snover was getting healed that Pikachu, Chespin, and I think Breakson and Daydene were the ones in charge of watching over Snover and helping it heal when Ash and the others went to go get the stuff. I thought that was a really nice moment, too, because they went to go get Snowballs to cool Snover's uh, head off. And freaking Chespin, like, goes overboard and grabs the hugest snowball in the world, but gets caught up in it. So that was kind of funny. But after all of that said and done, they heal Snover. Obama, Snow, and Snover say bye to them. They travel off into the sunset. They get that much closer to their goal. Yada, yada, yada. The end. I hate to be the one that's sort of skimming over this one like that, and for even for you guys watching, uh, sorry if you're disappointed, I decided to keep this picture and this picture alone. And like I said, I would be doing this for most filler episodes, and then I stopped doing it because we stopped getting filler episodes for real. Like, this is the, I want to say this is, out of all the episodes we've watched so far, this is the most filler we've seen since, like, episode 50 something or episode yeah around episode around i want to say since around episode 58 this is the first time we've gotten an episode that's so filler heavy that we i have to do this like i think the only time we ever run into this situation again back then was with bonnie's two episodes that she got so yeah, I want to say this is the the most filler-esque I've had to deal with in a long time. So I'm only going to keep this one picture stationary. You can watch the episode, obviously, if you, you know, want to see it. But it, to me, like I said, you won't be missing much. It's just a nice, it's a, it's a nice moment our heroes do. It's a nice, I really like that Obama Snow understood our heroes beforehand. So we won't have to go through that whole Oh my god, it's mad at us, it keeps attacking us every time we try to get near it thing. So yeah, it was just our heroes doing something very courteous for it, Obama Snow and Snover. And they got to cross the snow mountains because of it. You know, just really, really nice moments. But other than that, the episode is very full of filler air. Like I said, it's got filler with filler, plus filler, extra bowl of filler with filler, only filler. So yeah, with that said, I gotta say though, it was like I said, it was a nice episode. The next episode is filler too, but we do get to see our, uh, we do get to see Clement's two Pokemon become a comedy trio, so uh, well, a comedy duo, sorry. So that'll be very funny to witness. But overall, if you want to see that nice little moment between Ash and Serena, I guess uh, why do I call her Serena? I guess it's because the Japanese, how they say Serena instead of Serena. But yeah, they're just riding on top of a mammoth swine. They everybody's got their like snow outfits. I think they're the same snow outfits from the uh Amora or Aurora's episode with the exception of Bonnie. I know Bonnie doesn't have the same outfit, but I think the others have the same. You can correct me if I'm wrong. But with that said, the next episode is called Chespin. It's first Aaron. So I'll see you all then everybody. Tyrone the God 3 out. <laughs>